if you consider prices of uh, those type of components, uh, you are trading uh, a few cents with hours of your work, hours that you can use to make better project, to study electronics, uh, always from uh, trusted uh, source, uh, not uh, stupid blogs on the internet. Your time is more valuable to a few cents saved on this thing. They scam me because uh, we never we never end to learn. This is a quick video just to thanks those uh, bastards that sell fake 1% resistor on uh, e-commerce uh, websites like uh, eBay or Amazon. Sometimes you find these uh, uh, sets, these kits, assortment, call it as you want, of resistors that are uh, a very good price. But uh, when you go to measure them, suddenly noti notice that uh, they are not uh, between the declared tolerance. I made here some uh, calculation on the various values. I only show now, just for showing purpose, the 15k 1% resistor. This is my calculation. We have that uh, a resistor of 15k 1% should be between those values. So any resistance between this extreme value, the low and the higher, will be good. But there is another consideration to, to make. And this is the temperature coefficient of the resistor. The resistors change resistance with the temperature. First thing that I want to say is that my resistor doesn't matter what value of resistor I take. These are the 15k resistors are all on the lower side. Doesn't matter uh, what value I take. They are always uh, on the lower side, 14.7, uh, 14.8k. Uh, uh, they are all out of tolerance in the lower side. All the, all the assortment is like that. So I made some uh, quick test with uh, hot air measuring the temperature of the resistor and the voltage. If you want to make a test like this, you have to take into account precision of the instruments. But because I'm making relative measurements, we don't have this problem. In another way, if you want to take an absolute value, we have to take into account the percent of error of the digital multimeter, for example. But this is not the case. I don't like this. I put the probe, uh, the temperature probe, on the resistor with some tape. Very quick test. Heating up with the hot air and leave the temperature uh, fall down to the value that I decided to be a value that I want to read. In other words, I heat up the resistor, for example, to 120 degrees. I wait until the, the temperature falls to 100 degrees and then I read the value on the other multimeter and so on until we reach the room temperature here, that is 23.9. As you can see, my resistance of this, uh, um, this specimen here 
that was at room temperature 14 the, the, there is a point here sorry 14.85 K so I'm nearly on the bottom side of the tolerance increasing the temperature the resistance fall down so we have a negative temperature coefficient and we are out of tolerance in 50 degrees it's true that uh, here in the uh, Mediterranean climate we doesn't reach temperature like this uh, at least uh, in the north region of uh, Italy but in the south region it will be possible it could be possible because uh, you don't have to think to the to the temperature of the environment but to the temperature of the environment let's say in the summer uh, 35 degrees plus the temperature of your uh, electronic, electronic uh, apparatus let's take for example an oscilloscope there is a night temperature, maybe a transformer inside the switching regulation. So the temperature inside the box of uh, your device could be more higher of the um, external temperature. And I'm out of tolerance. All this batch of resistor that I was uh, probing for uh, my project that is uh, here a little project that you see in the next videos and they are out of tolerance all independent by the value that I choose all on the lower side of the tolerance and this is give us another uh, information this is means that these are resistor are resistor rejected by the factory that make these resistors I don't even know because uh, I'm not I don't want to spend so much time for a component that costs so little uh, to make a precise calculation or test but I can say that uh, those resistors are not good for uh, the using 1% resist I don't even know if they have the true the precise component temperature coefficient that a metal film resistor should have and the only thing that we can do in this case is use that as a 5% resistor so they will go in the 5% resistor storage and now I'm, uh, I'm sure that uh, I can use it uh, again but uh, I will never buy uh, electronic components from this website I start to buy components uh, by mail a long time ago when you see for example uh, advertising in uh, magazines and things like that and the things uh, will arrive with a catalog with order sheet that you have to mail again to the seller and the component never have problems in uh, all my life in electronics they never have problems now with uh, this uh, e-commerce you have to choose your components from trusted source because uh, if you don't trust them uh, you are in real trouble and uh, you can find in the internet a lot of example for example uh, for chips chips are another uh, item that uh, are really fake on the internet so uh, buy only by trusted seller like Mauser, Farnell, DGK and so on they don't give me money but uh, I can tell you that uh, is wise to spend your money on those seller and not on uh, the cheap uh, actions uh, on the other e-commerce website good night YouTube I have a lot of 5% resistors.